The Media and Training Center for Health, together with the Western Cape Health Department, are working together to tackle the sanitation in Kaya Licha and Guguletu. A cleanup campaign has been launched today at the Kaya Licha Lookout Hill. This campaign will run for seven months in the Western Cape. Cape Town TV news reporter Poshum Kosini attended the launch. <laughs> MTC will be working alongside of the cleanup team that are going around in Indlovini and in Kanini in Kailiche to clean toilets and playgrounds, maybe schools and maybe community centres if we're allowed um, to go in there and do that work. As the MTC team, we will be doing the door-to-door -door education campaign where we speak to mothers and caregivers about the importance of cleaning um, and the importance of a healthy environment so that it doesn't impact on um, children, specifically children between the ages of naught and five years, where we see that there's a very high incidence of infant mortality in Kailicha that directly relates to gastro-related illnesses and diarrheal-related illnesses. As a, an NGO operating in, um, in Cape Town, um, Tiger Brands approached us because of the work that we do with regard to community media and um, health education campaigns because the Media and Training Centre for Health um, works closely with communities across Cape Town uh, to identify health needs and then to try and develop um, media that's, that uh, directly relates to and addresses those needs. What I do, I knock at people's doors. So I ask people to open the, the toilets for us because they share, it's like three or four families for sharing one bathroom. So we ask whoever's got a key to open one. If it's four toilets in the, in the area, then my crew, I have three people working with me. So those three people, they're always ready with the jazz fluid, water and everything to start cleaning. So the first toilet to be open, they clean that one. So I go knock in the next door or whatever door to make sure that all of the toilets are clean because we have a map to follow. So wherever we start, we just go according to the map. We're trying to skip not even one toilet. The challenges that we get is the most of the toilets you'll find that they're locked in the morning due to the people that are going to work early in the morning. Some of the students, some are working, and then you get some of the blockages because some are blocked. The drains are still blocked as well, so that's just one of the challenges or two that we get. So other than that, most of the people they're more cooperative so which is we really appreciate that we know that sanitized environments will limit the spread of germs. Yeah, the campaign is basically as the name suggests it's a cleanup campaign it's about making sure that the spaces that people live in the areas around them the communities and especially and specifically the the toilets facilities that they use are clean and sanitized and because we are the objective is really about saying cleaner living space leads to fewer health risks uh, DKT's involvement in the campaign is the health promoters of DKT as they were already doing door-to-door -door in Kayelicha. So they are the ones who are educating in the household the families. After the campaign, we are hoping to achieve that the residents of our Kayelicha, especially those that the toilets will be cleaned, to carry on doing that. Go, ye, go,